the Sigma 50mm f2 DG DN contemporary lens is a newly released prime lens designed for Sony E-mount and L-mount cameras. This lens is a part of a Sigma's contemporary uh, series which is known for delivering high quality optical performance at an affordable price. This lens is designed to be a versatile and compact lens that can be used for a variety of photography uh, genres such as portrait, street and landscape photography. In this video I talk about its performance, what it is good for, value for money. At the end I'll give you my final thoughts and hopefully help you to make your mind up if this lens is actually for you. So keep watching, don't skip to find out more about it. start with, I must say, uh, thanks to Sigma UK for lending me this lens for this review. However, as always, I was not paid or asked to say anything specific about it. So everything you see in this video is my own and unbiased opinion about this lens. What is 50mm lens good for? A 50mm lens is often referred to as a standard or normal lens. It provides a natural perspective that closely resembles what we see with our own eyes, making it a popular choice for capturing everyday moments and in my opinion you get what you see. That's, that's why it is so easy or natural to shoot with 50mm lens like this. It is ideal for portrait photography. The 50mm lens is popular choice for portrait photography because of that natural perspective. You don't get lens distortion even when you get closer to your subject and it is still wide enough to include the surrounding. It also has a fastish maximum aperture f2 which allows for shallow depth of field making it easy to separate the subject from the background. This 50mm lens is also ideal for street photography because it allows you to capture candid shots of people and scenes without being too obtrusive. It's small, light and it allows you to point and shoot without people asking what and why you are doing. You don't want that. Although not typically the first choice for landscape photography, the 50mm lens can still be used effectively to capture wide views. Its natural perspective can help to create a sense of depth and realism in your images. This focal length doesn't create a lot of compression either, allowing you to get more natural looking photos or video. F2 maximum aperture makes it a great tool for low light photography. It allows you to shoot in low light conditions without having to use stupidly high ISO or too slow shooter speed. It's not ultra wide f1.4 but totally usable to shoot at night with or in lower lighting conditions handheld. It is also a perfect lens for product close-up photography or general everyday usage. I have been using 50mm lenses for over 20 years. I'm filming with 50mm now and it is my number one choice when I need one lens for, for everything. This really delivers and does not disappoint. Performance-wise, this lens is designed to deliver sharp and detailed images. It produces edge-to-edge -edge sharpness even wide open. This should not be a surprise with a Sigma lens. Even though it is not as wide aperture as Sigma's flagship art lens, this f2 is wide enough to produce really nice subject to background separation and classic sigma smooth looking bokeh amazing color and contrast minimal flaring that's seriously under control but chromatic aberration the color fringing is slightly out of control annoying and sometimes could be too strong to ignore but something that plagues most almost all wide aperture primes something that i need to mention here but something that is not unusual this is most of the time fairly easy to fix in post anyway the lens also has a minimum focusing distance of about 45 centimeters about same as with most of 50 millimeter lenses although not macro by any means this allows you to get fairly close to your subject and capture great close-ups too to overcome the minimum focusing distance and get even closer to whatever you are shooting, I have been using these old Sigma achromatic macro filters. They don't make these anymore, but these reduce focusing distance by roughly about half, letting you get closer to macro category with pretty much any lens, including this. There's plenty of these from many other brands available, different strengths as well, but be aware that cheap ones might affect the image quality. These high quality Sigma ones can still be found on the second hand market though, if you search hard enough. Autofocusing is spot on thanks to stepping motor mechanism. Autofocusing is quick and reliable. It is also virtually silent. Important if you are intent to film with it and record audio on board at the same time. Unfortunately for those of you filmmakers, the focus breathing is quite strong here. This is when the video looks like it is zooming in and out when you change the focus from something close to something uh, further away. If this is something that bothers you, this lens might not be for you.
the focus by wire non-linear unpredictable manual focusing but this can be changed on to linear on Lumix cameras unfortunately not on Sonys overall performance this lens delivers is pretty solid and way above average Build and design, it has a durable and compact design with a weight of just 350 gram. All metal construction and it comes with a supplied metal lens hood. Not the click manual aperture ring, just like with all the lenses in I series. Something that makes these lenses look and feel more like vintage lenses. Really cool. Only one simple standard switch, auto manual focus selector, filter thread size of 58 millimeter, pretty standard for a nifty 50, making filter purchases for it slightly cheaper. It also comes with a standard plastic lens cap as well as the snazzy magnetic one. It is not fully weather sealed, but it has splash and dust proof mount. I guess better than nothing, but not ideal if you must shoot in the heavy rain but well, I wouldn't recommend doing that anyway price and value for money it is priced at around 619 pounds here in UK or 639 dollars in US okay price for a very high quality 15 millimeter but it has got a lot of similarly priced competition out there it is also only marginally cheaper than the Sigma's own big daddy the f1.4 art lens so why would you buy this firstly it's it's size this is a nifty 50 small light and really portable when the size and weight really matters when you have to carry it around with you all day like when traveling uh, for example or maybe shooting wedding also if you are already invested in other lenses in eye contemporary series and you want matching uh, optical performance and familiar construction and build this would be a perfect choice then quality delivers is on par with the best out there so you would have to come down to a personal preference first and then the price which I'm sure will fluctuate over the time and when second-hand ones will become available to buy too is it good value for money the answer is maybe conclusion the Sigma 50mm f2 digit DN contemporary lens is a fantastic choice for any photographer or filmmaker who wants a versatile and high quality lens for their Sony E mount or L mount cameras with exceptional sharpness and excellent color and contrast, this lens can help you to capture stunning images and videos with ease. It's solid build quality and light weather sealing, which is better than nothing, I guess. Also make it a good option for outdoor shooting or for when traveling with it not the cheapest 50 millimeter out there but one that not only looks cool it's small and light it's built to last but the most importantly the optical performance it delivers is simply outstanding so whether you are shooting portraits or landscape or anything in between this little nifty 50 is definitely worth considering and this is it from me if this video was in some way helpful or entertaining please give me the thumbs up uh, follow me on instagram please consider subscribing thank you for watching and i'll see you next time the Sigma 50mm f2 DG. It's too fast, my It's too fast. This focal length doesn't uh, create a lot of compression. It's a lot of compression. Totally usable to shoot at night with... with the... and the sun is too bright. Song. And this is it from me. If this video was...